So welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to add timestamps to your YouTube videos. This is going to be very helpful in case someone wants to jump ahead to a specific section and it's very easy to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you go through your actual video and see at what times are there going to be specific sections to it. I did it with a very quick one where it says how to disable comments on YouTube. So what I actually did is I just went through, I wrote it down like this. And the biggest thing here is that make sure you add these specific numbers like the time right here. So I just copied all of this and I'm going to paste it in here and normally say like if this was going to be a different video I like doing an introduction so zero zero colon zero zero we have our intro and if this was a different video say it starts at like zero zero and then like you know 34 seconds this is going to be how to xyz whatever the video is and maybe you have one other main section if you want to do say five minutes in we have five minutes and say 45 seconds and we also have how to whatever z y x okay so that would be an example for a different video but the times here is exactly how you're going to be doing this so i'm going to hit save since this is accurate based upon like the timestamps here i also believe that they have to be around at least 10 seconds each like you can't do introduction and then the next one like four seconds later so don't 100 quote me on that i think that's what it is but Usually you do want to make your sections a little bit bigger so i'm just going to copy this and open it in an incognito window and then i'll show you what it looks like all right, so there we are. And if I, you can see it right here where there's going to be the sections with the timestamp. So we have introduction. This is disable comments on all videos. And this is the section for disabling comments on specific videos. And if you scroll down, you can see it right here where if you actually click on it, it'll so, take you uh, to that specific section. So it's very helpful for your viewers, whether it's going to be a shorter video or a longer video. I do think that the longer videos are much better, especially if they need to search for something. Like say you're doing a full tutorial about something within that tutorial, there's probably going to be a lot of different sections where you break things down and that's where these timestamps slash chapters are really going to help nevertheless if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i hope this very quick tutorial helped you out i'll see you in my next video